I got Huffer done. Yes, the Hercules Hobby Actros, which is a, to me a clone. Fine. This thing is a pain. The European trucks are a pain with all the tiny little, everything you see sticking out here is a separate plastic piece that you got to paint and glue on. Anyway, I painted them orange, like the Transformer Huffer. The cartoon Huffer has purple instead of blue. I painted it blue initially, the uh, frame and all that. And I'm like, hey, maybe I want to go purple. I am not <laughs> repainting, stripping and repainting. Sorry. So the interior, I went with purple, which I like pretty well. The um, instrument panel, I did not use the stickers because he's a transformer. Every time you saw him on the cartoon... Um, the instrument panels were all lit up, all weird stuff. It wasn't earth information, whatever. But anyway, I think he looks great. He's going to haul Optimus Prime's trailer from time to time. That's going to be awesome. The only modification I did, modifications I did, I, I used, like my other semis, I used a solid servo horn. I, I, the, these aren't that great with a uh, with a servo saver I don't bother with them I know a lot of people don't I suggest not doing it if you can but solid servo horn use a heavy duty uh, high torque servo saver solid servo horn you're fine I have the um, trailer servo right here uh, to automatically attach and detach the trailer now that's the other modification. Oh, one more. I have a metal drive shaft. I had a spare one because on my other semis, I ordered some drive shafts. They sent me wrong ones. They said, send me the right ones because quite frankly, I couldn't use that uh, length. And I said, you want me to send it back? No, don't bother. They're in China. It costs too much to send back. So, okay. So I used it. But this type of semi is pretty cool. The whole cab, instead of you having to unbolt it every time to take it off, it has a body clip right there, and it tilts forward, which I think is a nice touch. I'm using a receiver, the FSIA 6B receiver. I'm using a Hobbywing 1060 and the stock motor, stock 35 turn which is impressive. It's rebuildable, which is nice. And this body clip it can be a pain in the butt to put back because you got to kind of guess where everything is there. There. And it keeps it on pretty well if you sponge tape it. These kits um, don't come with double, at least mine didn't come with double-sided tape, sponge tape that they suggest to use. A little baggie of tools had the oil in it, and the oil busted open. It was all over the place. Luckily, it was in the bag, so I just put it aside. But the detail on this thing is incredible. I really, really like it. The mirrors, just like the Tamiya models, are great. Um, you have all these uh, rear view mirrors, just like the real thing back Oh, did it come off? Here. Oh, <laughs> it didn't come off. And here. To help the driver see what's going on. It has the standard Tamiya 3-speed transmission. And I suggest, number one, you have to break it in. Unlike the, the Tamiya's that I've had. Um, and I suggest on the spring for the shifter to use a couple of thick plastic spacers. Someone suggested it to me and I did it, works fine. Cause at first it wasn't shifting correctly from 
uh, third to second, back down to second. It wouldn't do it. I had to go to first, then to second. But once I put in those spacers, it's shifting just fine now. Whoever you are that suggested that, thank you. Because the spring for the shifter is not very strong. So anyway, it is a pretty good representation of Huffer, I think. And of course, I had to throw an Autobot symbol up there because they're robots in disguise, but they got to show who they are. Anyway, what I'm going to do is test this out on Prime's trailer and let's see how that goes. Take that load, Optimus. You're a true friend, Huffer.